चेंज इन चेंज इन कैपासिटेंस कमा पोटेंशियल कमा चार्ज एंड एनार्जी एंड एनार्जी चेंज इन कैपासिटेंस पोटेंशियल चार्ज एंड एनार्जी ऑफ ए कैपासिटर ऑफ ए कैपासिटर ड्यू टू इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ए डाई इलेक्ट्रिक स्लैब ड्यू टू इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ए डाई इलेक्ट्रिक स्लैब इन बिटवीन द टू प्लेट्स ऑफ द पैराल प्लेट कैपासिटर इन बिटवीन द प्लेट्स ऑफ ए पैराल पैराल प्लेट कैपासिटर पैराल प्लेट कैपासिटर we can draw a diagram of parallel plate capacitor with vacuum only this is the parallel plate capacitor with positive charge and induced negative charge q is the charge given to the plate and d is the distance between the two plates and intermediate medium between the two plates is vacuum that's why permittivity of uh, vacuum is epsilon 0 capacitance of this parallel plate capacitor with vacuum is c0 c0 is the capacitance of this parallel plate capacitor with vacuum only now we can draw a parallel plate capacitor uh, we with a dielectric slab with a dielectric slab this is the dielectric slab which is introduced in between the plates of the parallel plate capacitor t is the thickness of this uh, dielectric slab and we can denote the distance between the two plates k is the dielectric constant of the dielectric slab we can uh, epsilon 0 is the permittivity of vacuum d is the distance between the two plates uh, of the parallel plate capacitor initially uh, intermediate medium was vacuum now a dielectric slab is introduced this is the dielectric slab this is the dielectric slab when a dielectric slab when a dielectric slab is introduced when a dielectric slab of dielectric constant k is introduced in between the plates of parallel plate capacitor when a dielectric slab of dielectric constant k and a thickness t is introduced is introduced in between the plates of in between the plates of in between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor with vacuum in between the plates of a charged capacitor or charged parallel plate capacitor with a battery with a battery connected across the capacitor connected across the plates of the capacitor plates of the capacitor in the diagram we can uh, denote that uh, a battery is connected to uh, the parallel plate capacitor and v is the terminal voltage of this battery and again uh, battery is connected to the parallel plate capacitor with a dielectric constant a dielectric slab with a dielectric slab this is the battery and v is the terminal voltage c is the capacitance of uh, the parallel plate capacitor with the dielectric slab c is the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor with uh, the dielectric slab that means when a dielectric slab is introduced in between the plates of parallel plate capacitor with the battery connected across the plates of capacitor then potential then the potential acting between the two plates potential difference then the potential difference uh, between the two plates 
between the two plates uh, that is potential difference is V between the two plates uh, remains constant as battery is connected as the battery as the battery is connected that means battery is not disconnected uh, from the capacitor as the battery is connected to the capacitor that means there is a connection between the battery and the capacitor that's why potential difference between the two plates remains constant v is the terminal voltage of the battery and similarly v is a potential difference uh, between the two plates of parallel plate capacitor that's why potential difference um, remains constant and q prime is the final charge to the plate uh, final charge to the plate uh, with the dielectric slab and here c greater than c0 q prime greater than q u prime greater than u but uh, potential difference uh, remains constant v remains constant here capacitance increases charge increases and energy also increases but potential difference v remains constant in this case Initially energy stored by the capacitor with vacuum only was U equal half C naught V square and final energy stored by uh, the capacitor that means energy stored by the capacitor changes to U prime which, which becomes half C V square half C V square initial energy was half C naught V square now final energy changes to half C V square number two the charge the charge to the plate of the parallel plate capacitor the charge to the plate of the parallel plate capacitor increases from q2 q prime as the battery as the battery as the battery continues as the battery continues to supply charge to the plate of the capacitor the charge increases from Q to Q prime as the battery continues to supply charge to the capacitor continues to supply the charge to the capacitor here delta Q be the amount of charge delta Q be the amount of charge which will be supplied to the capacitor continuously by the cap uh, by the battery and here potential difference remains constant but the charge increases from q2 q prime as the battery continues to supply charge to the capacitor the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor also increases from c0 to c the capacitance increases Potential difference remains constant charge increases that's why capacitance increases from C naught equal epsilon 0 a divided by D to C equal epsilon 0 a divided by D minus T 1 minus 1 by K capacitance increases from C naught to C number 4 number 4 uh, that is what will be the change in energy the energy stored by the capacitor energy stored by the capacitor also increases from also increases from u not u equal half c not v square to half c not v square to u equal half c v square half c v square as the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor increases that's why energy stored by the capacitor also increases from u to u prime now we can consider the diagram again uh, diagram again and in this case initial energy stored by the capacitor initial energy stored by the capacitor was half c naught v square before introduction of dielectric slab u equal 1 by 2 c naught v square that was initial energy stored by the capacitor with vacuum only that is before introduction of dielectric slab u equal half c naught v square which is the initial energy stored by the capacitor stored by the capacitor with vacuum before introduction of the dielectric slab before introduction of the dielectric slab that means this is the initial energy stored by the capacitor with vacuum only 
that means u equal half c naught v square that was the initial energy stored by the capacitor before introduction of before introduction of the dielectric slab in between the two plates dielectric slab in between the two plates and uh, energy increases to u prime which is 1 by 2 half cv square u prime becomes 1 by 2 half cv square that is what uh, the final energy stored by the capacitor that is the final energy stored by the parallel plate capacitor with the dielectric slab final energy stored after introduction of after the introduction of the dielectric slab final energy stored after introduction of the dielectric slab here capacitance increases from c0 to c capacitance increases from c0 to c increases from c0 to c that's why energy uh, increases from u to u prime energy also increases from u to u prime uh, potential difference v remains constant and as capacitance increases due to introduction of dielectric slab that's why energy stored by the capacitor also increases